One Piece Nation here today with a One Piece video. I know. Shocking. I haven't wanted done one of these since my NAMI video like a week or two ago. But okay. What's been going on with the reviews? Well, the Boruto reviews, I've just been missing. I'll be honest. Those I've just been messing up on. But the One Piece reviews, I have to be honest. Before I begin, though, I'll just put a quick disclaimer. This is me. This is all just my feelings, alright? Okay, D don't come at me about bashing something. I'm not bashing anything. I'm not saying something is bad. This is not me being critical. This is me talking to you as a fan about my loss of interest in the whole Cake Island arc, alright? Okay, so, okay, it really started. It was happening a little bit before this. But with the whole Capone thing, and coming up with the plan, and avoiding fighting Big Mom, it just, okay, this is the thing. No, this is no editing, by the way, I'm just gonna, I, I want to be honest with you guys about where the reviews have been, so I'm just gonna be completely blunt with you. I had, I, I have no interest to read Bjork, okay? I'm not interested. I mean, I'm still interested in One Piece, just not this arc. Now, let me explain why. I feel... That when you have a when you have a villain, and you know the character can't win, you know they're not going to try to win, and you know they're going to be running away. It's kind of like, but you know they're not going to die. You see, if One Piece wasn't a story, if One Piece was a story where the character main character could die, it would be one thing. If like, if I if I saw One Piece, if it was like Attack on Titan, I'd be very interested. Because I would not put it past, oh, uh, the writer of Attack on Titan, I forgot his name, correct me in the comments. Sorry about that, quick edit, and since I edit that out, I was coughing. But, uh, yeah, but the point is, is that I don't think it's interesting when the main character, we know he's not gonna die, but we also know he's not gonna win. Like, like, there is no, and there's only the investment in what will happen after VR. Like, had you realized how nobody has said, like, there is no, like, current arc discussion. It's arc, nobody's really talking about this arc. It's boring. Like, it's the arc itself doesn't interest me. When I was reading Dress Rosa, alright, it was always, how will Luffy beat the Flamingo? Will it be some, like, upgraded Conqueror Taki? Will it be a new gear? Will, it, will he have help? Will him and Zoro double team him? Will, uh, will we get a Luffy and Sabo tag team? Like, we were always having fun, having, like, wild and crazy discussion about how Luffy can beat Do Flamingo. And I, I felt like a sense of, like, what if there's a repeat of the Kuma incident with Kuma? What if they lose again? Oh, see Daisy. Oh, crap, crap. Oh, shit. What if there's an incident, a Bakuma incident? What if they all, well, that they're slaughtered again and they have to escape? Now, you see... But see, there was still the what if, but there was also the possibility that Luffy was going to do like Gear 4. Which we didn't know what that would be at the time, and that was like a really big deal. And, you know, we were wondering, maybe Luffy will, will do Gear 4 and take on Doflamingo. Like, maybe that's what will happen. I don't know. I really, I don't know. But the problem I have with this, with this whole story now, is that we know Luffy can't beat Big Mom in a fight. So there's no speculating how he will win. It is pretty the characters have already pretty much said we can't beat Big Mom. We can't, we fight her, we die. Alright, so there's no spec there's no sense of danger there. And we know what and we know we know they're gonna get away, honestly, but they're not gonna die. So if we know they're gonna get away, and we know Luffy can't beat Big Mom, then why did I then I there's no reason to read it. I'm sorry. That's now, if you guys are enjoying it, good for you. But I honestly, it was either the Capone stuff or the stuff in the castle. I had started losing interest. The arc did not keep me interested. And it's not saying it's a bad arc. I still believe it's going to be better, it's going to be the best arc than one piece. Like, I'm not lying here. It's a really good arc. I also feel that Big Mom at the Nyonko is very underrated. Not underrated, it's... it's I'm gonna get so much hate for this. I feel like I was let down by Big Mom. I, I think she's a let down. Don't get me wrong. Big Mom is powerful. I am not denying the power of the Soul Soul Fruit. Or think she is weak. 
But the problem is, I can't envision an epic battle with Big Mom. Like, Oda gave her this like, goofy, fat, fat ass lady design. But when I, the, the problem with this fat ass lazy, lazy design is I can't take her freaking seriously. I can't. I can't take her seriously and it's annoying. It's stupid and I hate it. I should be able to take Big Mom seriously. But I can't because when I, I can't picture her looking cool. She has a couple cool like panels. But just in the grand scheme of things, like, can you really see like an epic battle between Big Mom and Luffy? Like, pit, try to picture an animated epic battle between Big Mom and Luffy. How that would look. You can't. Because she's, a, because she's a giant fat lady. Like, you can picture, I can picture, maybe that's just me though. But I can picture a badass Luffy versus Blackbeard fight. A badass Luffy versus Kaido fight. And a, a badass Luffy and Shanks fight. I just can't picture a badass Big Mom fight. I can picture Big Mom like shooting lightning and fire at Luffy from the distance the whole time, but that's about it. So yeah, but I would have my interest in the arc had been waning. I would, and what happened was I got okay, and I got very sick for a while. You know, I got very sick and I wasn't really recording much. I skipped a couple of reviews, and then when I went to catch up, I kind of just like, you know what? I'm not really feeling this arc. Now I will say I do enjoy reading the chapters in bunches. So I'm going, to, I'm going to be releasing my review for the last chapter this Thursday or Friday. Pro, yeah, no, this Thursday. This Thursday I'll be releasing my review for last week's chapter. And then I'll be all caught up for next week. But yeah, the point is it's, I'm not invested in the arc. And if I'm not invested in the arc, it's hard to come up with decent discussions for the arc. Alright, it is. And Boruto, honestly, I've just been falling behind on that. I'll admit to that. But yeah, um... I don't have much else to say on that on that note. So I think what I'm going to do with the video here. I mean, I told you I, I have not invested in the whole King Island arc. Now this is all just me once again. If you don't, it's all no. No, actually, no. There's more to say. Cause no editing. The pacing. I'm not even gonna edit out that cough anymore. But the pacing is not good. The pacing is not good. I felt like it got really slow when they were in the castle when Luffy and Nami were captured. And I could not feel it. I, I couldn't. Now I'm actually going to go do another One Piece video about the Pudding Redemption thing. And just give my honest thoughts on that. I'm, acting, you know, I'm not even going to do that. I'll tell you here. Alright, I'll tell you here. If Pudding get redeemed, I'll be pissed. Now I'll go into why in another video once I've read the chapter on Thursday. But the point is... If Pudding gets redeemed, I'll be annoyed. And it looks like that's what's happening. They're trying to make Pudding look good. And I'm just like, no. Like, no. Like, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this Alright? Okay, there, stop, okay. The whole good guy to bad thing will work with characters like Pudding and something like Naruto. It will work. Because Naruto is stupid and cheesy enough of a theory that that would work. And Kishimo is the kind of writer that could write that in a way that I would probably like it. Oda isn't. Oda went out of his way to make putting the most unlikable bitch in manga. Alright? He went out of his way to do that. So if so all this yeah. So if she um if she turned good, I will be angry. I will. I will be very annoyed if Pudding turned good. Now um I'm probably gonna be doing a live stream this weekend. I, I, I'm gonna start doing more content again. It's just I've been really not enjoying its arc, so I've been... But lately I've been thinking about it. What I think I'm going to do is if I'm not enjoying the arc, I'll just do other types of content. Based on other manga. I want to do a video about Boruto and Dragon Ball Super, a comparison about them. Um, well, you, you'll see when the video comes out. But I also want to do a, uh... I want to do some more live streams. I'm gonna start doing a lot of those. I want to do some you know, top 10s. I want to do more character discussions and things of that nature. And yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm, if you're, I'm, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying me, Ark. And yeah, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, do record a couple other videos that I want to get back on track. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, leave the video a like. Um, tell me your thoughts so far on the whole Cake Island Ark. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you're not, tell me why. And yeah, remember, this is just my opinion. Nothing in this video is a critical point.